In the previous step, we quantitated gene expression using HDSeq, and as a result, we got count files for each sample. Now, in the next step, we need to combine those count files to a count table and describe our experiment using the Finodata file in Chipster. We do this using the utilities tool define NGS experiment. And this tool will take all the count files for the different samples and put them in one count table. You will also get another result file called Finodata file. And this is a very specific one in Chipster because it allows you to describe your experimental setup. It will have some columns already filled in for you and then some which you need to fill in yourself. The most important one is the group column. So it is in this column that you describe your experimental groups. For example, if you have control samples and cancer samples or untreated and treated samples or whatever. Now, we highly recommend that you use numbers uh, for naming the experimental groups and in such a way that a smaller number is always the control group. You could be writing here text as well. So, for example, control and cancer, but that would cause uh, some confusion in the statistical tools later on because they will calculate fault change values for you. So if you use numbers, uh, the situation will be clear. The smaller number is always going to be the control or to which group you are comparing the expression in the others. Whereas if you use text, uh, it's going to take the words in alphabetical order. Now, for example, if you wrote control and cancer, uh, CA comes before CO. So your fault changes would be calculated the wrong way around. However, nothing prevents you from creating extra columns where you are most welcome to use text uh, to remind you what the different numbers meant. Then there is another column I wanted, uh, your, I wanted you to draw attention to, and this is the description column. So when you make images, uh, Chipster will take the sample names from this column. By default, they are filled in with the file names. But if you are making publication pictures, you probably don't want file names in your images, but rather something uh, neater and, and more compact. Then what if somebody actually gives you a count table and you want to bring the count table in Chipster? So somebody has been super nice and done the alignment and quantitation for you. So that's perfectly fine. You can bring that count table to Chipster. So what you need to do, first of all, is to make sure that the, uh, the file name ending is TSV, which stands for tab uh, delimited text. And um, so when you bring it in, Chipster will ask you, you will get this kind of window and it will ask you, well, what do you want to happen to this file? So you need to select use import tool, which will take you a separate window where you can mark the title row of your table. And then you also want to mark which column contains the gene identifiers and which are the sample columns or the count columns. Once you have done this, it will give you a file for each sample. You select all of those and run the utilities tool called preprocess count table. So that will convert the count table to a format that Chipster understands and it will also create a Finodata for it. 